Hey guys, Synergy here and I'm bringing you a brand new video. This one's going to be a tutorial, tips and tricks on how to maximise your points. So what we're going to do guys is we're literally going to get into this gameplay. I've left the loading screen on a little bit more just so I can explain this gameplay for you. It is 162 points attrition. Yes, you heard me right guys, 162 points. It's a 5v4 scenario so we're actually handicapped in it. Uh, we've only got 4 people to rack up the points and stuff like that. Um, when you've actually got five people, the points may spread more evenly for them, but obviously uh, you've got more people just to rack up the points. That's what makes this a little bit better for you guys, and hopefully you're going to like the video. So if you like this video, do share it around, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think, and I'm just going to talk you through exactly what I'm doing as well, and the sort of loadouts that I'm using. You can see on my burn cards, I've only got the shock rocks and the pull rank card. Um, that's all I'm using, they're just your standard burn cards, nothing rare at all in this gameplay, so I'm not using rare burn cards. Right, so basically all I'm going to do here is I'm just going to jump over this wall here. Now this is a route that I like to take because I find that it is the fastest way to get into the enemy spawn. I'm using this little part here, jump off there, coming round and throw those there and I actually get taken out to start with there guys. Okay, so obviously this isn't a very good start by me and you can see them all running in comparison with each other so this team that we're against they're definitely parted up because they're all running literally together and they're basically working as a team which is always good to see it's just not good to see when you're against them <laughs> simple as that okay so basically I'm gonna start on my revenge trees now and we kill I'm a teddy bear with the jump kick there you can see I'm actually getting hit marked in my back and I get taken out for a third time in a row can I pull this back guys this will be one of the greatest back you'll ever see in your life and simple as that so all I'm gonna do here is I'm just gonna focus my attention on the grunts and spectres because I want those attrition points to get racked up and here we go do 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 and you're gonna start seeing me dominate pretty soon so what you wanna do is you do wanna be cautious of your minimap as well like with this one I run out of ammo but I pick up the human kill even though he had another human aiming at me at the same time Right, so I've actually got my Titan into the gameplay now, so what we're going to do is we're going to call that in. Now we're going to use our Titan just to sort of, this is the basic loadout that I'm actually using. At, funnily enough, I am using the Strider. I'm using the 40mm, no it's not the cannon, it's the XO-16 chain gun, forgive me mistaken on that. You can see I just picked up two human kills there in the mix, and then we pick up a third human kill here. So all I'm doing is I'm going after crushing all the spectres, all the grunts. While I'm crushing them, I'm actually picking up human crushes as well, so people are actually stupid enough to walk under me. As you can see, crushed I'm a teddy bear there. I've got a pilot locking, so part of my loadout is the electric smoke. So basically I can use that smoke just to get away. And I've actually got the extra dash on this one, guys. So you can see that I'll be dashing a hell of a lot. When I come to Titans like this, I just drop a smoke down, get the shields down, and then they had a bit of damage. You can see this human there trying to get a little cheeky hit on me, but I had eyes on him, so I'm going to take him out. Simple as that, nice and easy. Right. So that Titan's pretty much taken out. My shields have gone and he had a pilot locking, so I'm just going to back off that one for a minute. I'm just going to chill out here till my shields regenerate. You can see we've got another Titan there. I'm going to bring in the electric smoke that'll deny him the territory. So he's only got one way to go unless he ends up going directly through the smoke. So I'm actually going to go mid map again this time. You can see that guy trying to hide in the corner but he had eyes on him and then a the guy at the right hand side, I got pilot locking so I'm just going to crush these, get over here, make it as difficult as possible for those pilots to get any form of locks on me. We've got two titans in the mix though so what we're going to do is drop the smoke down, that'll do a lot of damage to the titans and you can see uh, the doomed titan challenges that you get as well gonna help our team out here because we've got three titans against one I'm not gonna let this strider get away because I've got the extra dash so I can catch him up absolutely no problem whatsoever just using the shortcuts right as we're using the shortcuts we're just going in like a figure of eight so I'm actually wasting quite a bit of time here focusing on these titans 
which is not exactly what I want to do. I don't want to be chasing down the Titan for ages. You can see I've actually took a big lot of damage at the minute. And there we go, we'll take that Titan kill nice and easy. And there you go, we crush him in half. So all about attrition, it's like the game says when it starts guys, it's all about the spectres, the grunts, but it also includes pilot kills and titan kills, so you're going to be racking up those attrition points, but what you want to do, you can see my attrition points there, times 17, that's because I'm getting them in quick succession, and as you see when I don't get them in quick succession, the attrition points doesn't rack up as fast. Here we go, that's a grunt thought it was a human for a minute there and we got a nice little pat down here we're just going to crush them take full advantage of that you see a pat like that chase it down chase it down take them out nice and easy human yeah run into my gun spray bitch all right so you can basically see how long I've survived in this titan and that we actually have a human up here at the top And normally my gameplays actually include me being in and out of the Titan quite a lot but this one I decided to stay in the Titan as long as I could possibly survive in it and then obviously get on the killing sprees again using that smoke auto Titan that's happy Larry I'll take that any given day and we'll just take that out for a few extra attrition points while there's not many packs around bunch of spectres thank you we'll take that there's a pilot locking on me, and there he is, up there, got eyes on him, and there you go, my titan has been taken out, so we're into doom mode, gonna disembark, and there is a pilot with actual eyes on me, you can see me 107, 13 to 1 at the minute, I think it was, uh, I might have read that actually wrong guys, so forgive me for that one. We'll see at the end of the game anyway, so that makes no difference for the time being. So basically, to maximise your attrition points, what you're wanting to do is play smart, but you want to also play aggressive. If you play defensive, you're not going to be racking up those points. Like, for example, see that large pack down to the left-hand side? All I'm doing here is I'm just shooting that human player, because if it went out there, I would have got taken out pretty easily. We're going to drop down here where this pack is and look at all these sexy attrition points that you can get right here. And we get a human jump kick in the mix of all that pack as well. Um, what you'll find where the grunts and spectres spawn, as in where they land, that is where humans are going to be spawning once they've died. So yeah, you do want to use that to sort of acknowledge advantage if you may. And I actually just ended up doing the most embarrassing thing that could happen to you in a game, which is actually landing your auto titan on a human player. And there you go, we take another human player out after that. We've got two titans chasing down, all I'm going to do is get quite close. I went in for the eject, unfortunately it did shoot me and I got taken out on that. So I'm bringing in my pull rank card now guys. Now my pull rank is basically going to take 80 seconds off my titan core build time and you can see how I just take that human out after a hit marker in with the art grenade. I'm actually going to back off because we've got three titans over that area and then I'm going to get into this titan as you see do 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 nice and easy and I end up actually jumping on one of their titans which I didn't want to do and I was like what? Wait a minute, I'm not in the Titan, what's going on? Okay, so we've got three Titans, we're going to use the electric smoke to our full advantage again. So all those three, they're not going to come through the smoke because nobody's dumb enough to really come through. There you go, we end up getting Titan kill number one. I'm taking a lot of damage, so I'm trying to get away. This guy gets in my way. And then there's another Titan over here as well. So we're actually in a bit of a bad position at the minute. We've got three Titans against one, so all I'm doing, dropping down, taking as much damage as I can get off this guy. Chances are I'm going to die, but... Um, no, I'm not actually. Okay, so I ended up backing off, and I do want this guy to go down before me. So all I'm going to do, throw those rockets in, and we take him out, and boom, Titan Punch. Get crushed, baby. 
long war Okay, so there you go. Uh, my Titan got taken out. I've got a knack of not ejecting from my Titans in the gameplays. Obviously, I did give them a little bit of extra points, which could have been used for time for me to rack up my points even further than this guy's. So that's some of the mistakes I make. This guy actually disembarked from his Titan, so that gave me a nice and easy kill. And what we're going to do here is just take his Titan out. So there you go guys, 162 points gameplay, you're going to see towards the end of the film as well, uh, it's going to be proven on the leaderboards, there you go, 162 points, uh, forgive me if I'm mistaken, that's 21 kills, 7 deaths and 50, only 51 minion kills, so most of the pilot kills were actually contributing to a lot of our attrition points on the for us guys. And obviously the round has ended so all these grunts doesn't make a difference um, we're just going to basically try and stop the evacuating points and we're trying to take out as many human players as possible. Unfortunately in the mix of that I end up getting taken out. As you see on your screen there guys 162 21 pilot kills, 7 titan kills, 51 minion and 7 deaths. Don't forget to like and subscribe.